this year, this is the seventh edition of uh, the late captain N. King Rusay MVC Memorial Football Tournament. This tournament was conceived in the year 2015 to commemorate the, uh, the extreme act of valor done by Captain Ken Ruse, who was an Indian Army officer from the Rajputana Rifles during the Kargil War in Operation Vijay. So, the Indian Army thought of, uh, you know, giving the befitting uh, homage to the fallen soldier who belongs to this land of warriors that is Nagaland and to give him the due recognition to his act during the Kargil War, uh, this tournament was conceived. This tournament is also a state level tournament which is giving representation to all the districts from Nagaland, that is 16 districts. I will come to that subsequently during my presentation. So, uh, the aim was to first give due recognition to the fallen soldier and also, you know, provide a platform to the local talent of football in the state. This, uh, this feat needs no, uh, uh, you know, introduction that Nagaland people love football so much that you know army decided to bring these two things together that the homage to the uh, soldier is given and also a platform for the local uh, talent of the football to be represented at the state level so this captain can say football tournament was conceived in 2015 in between in 2019 and 20 the tournament was not played because of obvious reasons that we are all aware however the situation became better and uh, uh, from 2021, this tournament was restarted. So, 2023, we are now doing with the seventh edition of this tournament this year. Which has the tournament will be played between 1st to 9th uh, November in ID Stadium, Koima. First will be the opening match, the opening ceremony, and 9th will be the final match of this tournament. Alright. So, if you have a look at the view for it, this is how the teams uh, have applied to us. We have three teams from Poema, one from Chumadina, then Newland, Semenu, and so on and so forth. You can have a look at the team names. I hope this is visible to everyone sitting behind. Yes. Alright. Mon, Peren, Twinsang, Kifre, Shamator, Shamator, Mukhukchuk, and Bukha. Uh, I don't know if there is some issue with these teams. Uh, they have not yet fielded any team. So, yesterday was the last day for application. So, uh, we are not considering any more. Mokopchum, however, have said that there is some local tournament going on between 17th to 3rd November. However, since our tournament will begin from 1st and since our uh, draw slots happen tomorrow, there is no scope of you know, uh, adding any team henceforth from now onwards. 1648, if you can just have a look here, this is the army team. One army team is representing as well. So this was the previous slide that I had made regarding Pani Gunanamad. As to how the teams will play, this is actually a knockout basis uh, game right now. So all the groups will have games again between each other and uh, will be decided on knockouts. Then we will have the same finals and similarly will be a finals after that. Yeah. Am I right sir? Yeah, yeah. Finally the match schedule will be published. Yeah, the match schedule will be published later by after consultation with the NFA and the head of NFA. Sir, would you like to say something? A few words? Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright. I have done uh, as much publicity as I wanted to of this entire tournament. However, uh, uh, the kind of response mostly from Kohima I had received was not very warm. I don't know why there was some uh, some issue. Initially, in fact, more than 5-6 teams had uh, applied with us. but. As time passed, most of the teams they pulled back from it, from uh, citing various reasons. You know, there was one team which said, you know, the, the Red Scar team, which won the NSF tournament recently. They said that uh, probably they had some team members who were disqualified by NFA, or maybe some kind of a uh, yeah, some kind of a uh, disciplinary inquiry was being conducted against them. So that team could not muster their players, so it took its name back. There was one more team. Uh, they said that they have some local tournament going on. Then there was another team, they had uh, some issue regarding their team players being represented by some college students. Maybe they had some exams or something. So that happened. However, uh, 
Nonetheless, we finally we have about 670 teams now participating, which is good enough. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter and Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter.